Hey guys, GH here. Today we're gonna be doing challenge mode builds for new players because I have quite a few people telling me they can't do challenge mode because veteran players don't want them in the party and they're saying, what should I do to get them challenge mode money? Well, this is what you're gonna do. Change your class build to this class builds. Then maybe they will consider letting you ride along. In this video, I'm gonna be assuming you're wearing the free Savvy Levga equipment since you're a new player and with that said here's the challenge mode builds for new players let's do this we're gonna be starting with the swordsman class which is the class i'm having difficulty making a challenge mode new player build with anyways most people will go Blossom Blader, Double, and Barbarian, which is excellent. I actually encourage players to just keep improving your equipment, get your crit rate to about 3000 and higher attack, and you should be good to go. But I know that might be a tall order for new players, and you probably don't have the right equipment to make that build effective. So I'm gonna be showing another build that will instead increase the combat capabilities of teammates and provide crowd control back up. Okay, so another alternative build that I will show is Templar, Cataprag, and Dragoon. And before your buche explodes, listen. We chose Templar here because Templar has three skills that can help veterans in game increase their combat capabilities. And those are one, First off is Battle Orders. This will increase your teammate's damage by 15% in regular fields. Second skill is Flying Colors. This is one of them flag buff, but this one increases critical rate of the whole team and decreases critical resistance of enemies. And lastly, Shield Charger. This one gives the whole team shields. Next class is Cataprac. Now why is it here? It's because this class has a variety of crowd control skills that will be useful in challenge mode. Just make sure you have a high enough AOE attack ratio so you can hit multiple enemies. The easiest way is getting 3 pieces of Centaurus card. Now, those crowd control skills are as follows. First off is Earth Wave. This is an AOE attack that knocks down enemies, except large types. Second skill is Doom Spike. This is another AoE attack that pushes enemies back and knocks them down. And like the first one, it doesn't work with large types. Next class is Dragoon. It's here because aside from it works with both Templar and Cataprac, Dragoon also offers Fear Debuff that increases physical damage by 20%. And that should help. And it also have a crowd control skill. Let's start with the Fear Debuff. The skill that inflicts fear is called Dragon Fear. Aside from that, it also increases AOE attack ratio which you will need, then increases your damage and slows enemies. Your crowd control here is called Death Throne. This skill can push enemies back and stop them from moving for a few seconds. So that's the alternative build while you're trying to improve your equipment. But to be honest, just stick with Blossom Blader, Topple, and Barbarian. That build is just overpowered. Just used another class to form challenge mode. Now let's do wizards. Now this one is another tricky one but thankfully there's a lot of vocal people asking for crowd control builds and it was easy making this build. And the build consists of Psychokino, Cryomancer, and Elementalist. And if you want to know more about this build, I will have a link in the description about that exact build. Go check it out if you're interested. Another build is the meta which is Pyro, Taoist, and Elementalist. This is the best challenge mode build you can do for challenge mode. But the problem is, you need to have decent equipment to make it work. And if you can't do that, stick with the crowd control build. Just put on the free legendary equipment, get some con and i course with con to increase survivability and you will be fine. Okay, now for archers. This will be an easy recommendation. And the archer build for new players is Appraiser, Hunter, and Falconer. I'm gonna be doing a build video about this soon, trademark, to be more specific why parties need this build. So I'm just gonna put a quick summary of why people want this. First is Appraiser. People want this because it can increase main weapon enhancement by about plus 7. 
reached level 5. Then it has debuffs that decreases combat capabilities. Now for Hunter, people want this class because of the plus 1000 loot buff. That's it. Then Falconer, mainly people want this for aiming. The skill that increases the hitbox of enemies. Now, if you have this build, for sure you will be useful and welcome in a party. Unless the team is full of low DPS or they don't know what you're capable of. Or the team is full of elitist requiring a buffer to have plus 30 bow and plus 21 armors. Ah, those are rare Pokemons. Real snowflakes. Hit the dislike button if you're one of them. For new players, just ignore them and move on to a much more reasonable party. Anyway, moving on. We're gonna do clerics next. And the cleric build that most people want is Oracle, DEV, and Cabalist. They want Oracle because of Divine Might, the spell that increases skill level by 1. It's very important. And Oracle have a slew of spells that can increase damage taken of enemies, so it's gonna be very useful. Now, DM, the Ebder Beast. Parties want this class because of cooldown reduction. Just use it and everything will be fine. And lastly, Cabalist. Why is it here? Because this is the best healer class in the Cleric Class 3. Now for the last class, Scouts. There's only one Scout build for new players at the moment, and this class build is the most wanted. And it's Corsair, Tomatorch, and Enchanter. This build is most wanted because it offers almost everything except heals. This build is what I call the Flag Boy. If you wanna know more about this build, I will have a link in the description about the build video. So check it out if you're interested. Anyway, here's a short description on why people want this build. Now Corsair, it's here because it offers a flag that increases the damage of party members. Now for Tomatorge, it's here because it offers loot buffs and damage increase. And also Corsair and Tomatorge works together to further increase the effect of the Corsair flag, increasing its duration and damage increase. Now lastly, Enchanter. It's here because it offers a wide range of buff that increases combat capabilities. And like Tomatorge, it also works with Corsair, further increasing the effects of the Corsair flag, increasing its duration even more, and adds more critical effects. If you wanna see more about this Corsair Tomatorge Enchanter build, I will leave a link in the description. And that's it guys, those are the challenge mode builds for new players. Is there a build out there that a veteran and a challenge mode spammer wants that I didn't include? Share it to us in the comment section so we can all learn. And as always, hit the thumbs up if you like the video, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.